How's it going everybody, Butch Pokemon here, and in this video we're opening a Blast Origin Booster Box. I actually got this on release date, which is pretty nice. I usually don't get these on release date, so that was a, that was a nice surprise today. But without further ado, let me try to open this carefully, as to not to hurt myself with the knife here. Or maybe that's not a knife. This is a knife. Actually, I don't have a bigger knife next to me. This is the biggest one I've got. Similar to the Astro Radiance booster box I opened. I'm not going to be doing the card trick since we have 36 boosters to go through, which is kind of a lot. I'll just put this down here. Should be for all card pack odds. Nice. Oh, I think the Gardevoir is my favorite. It's between the Gardevoir and the Giratina. But pretty cool, pretty cool. So this set contains mostly cards from, uh, what is it, Lost Abyss and Dark Phantasma. As well as a few cards from like all over the place, from like Space Juggler and Time Gazer. And of course from uh, VMAX Climax, at least the cards that didn't make it over to localization yet. Let me push this out of the way so I have a bit more space. And let's get started, Porygon. Ducklet, Blipbug, Finian, Hizurian Zoroa. Nice! Okay, we're starting off with a character secret rare, character super rare. Sent a Scorch V and a non holographic Polyrath. That's really cool. Here's the rest of the cards. Right off the bat, a banger. Now, what I've heard though, the, the hits, uh, the ratios for alternate arts aren't very good. From what I've seen, at least on the on the Pokemon TCG subreddit, someone was opening like something crazy like seven boxes, and he didn't get a single alt art. So that's something to look out for. I think we have something else here. I just saw something shimmering. Not that it's gonna be another one of these Astro Radiance packs or booster box where you get everything in the first few booster packs. And then oh, I've kind of ruined it. Okay, Hizuian Sneezer, very cool. I like this. Ooh. Something shiny. Something shiny. Oh, Misfortune Sisters Rainbow Rare. Very cool. And a code card. Or another code card. A V-Star marker, excuse me. Put this aside. Put these aside and get a few sleeves. All right, there we go, all sleeved up. I actually want this card in Japanese. Not the rainbow version, the normal one. But this is still very cool. Very, very cool. So far, oh wait, I still have two booster packs over here. Very nice. So far, the pulls are been, uh, have been kind. I'm kind of concerned for the rest of the box, though, but I think we should still get uh, three more Trainer Gallery cards. At the very least, and I think one more one more Radiant card. So there are still a few pulls left to get. We'll see if we've used all, our luck, all of our luck and not gonna get a, um, a alternate art. And there we go. That's another pull. A Drapion V-Star. It's gonna be one of these one of these boxes, like similar to the Astro Radiance, where we pull everything like right off the bat, and then the, the rest of the box is not gonna have anything. It's gonna be one of those, eh? Fine by me. Fine by me. Get the good good stuff first. Here you go, there's the code card. Let's get started. Bronze ore, Phalanx, Polywag, an Oddish. He's using Growlithe. Chromorant and a normal holographic Hizuian Basculation. And there's the rest of the cards. So now we can pull some booster packs from the booster box over here. See what else we can get. I'm really, really hoping we get an alternate art. I mean, as I said in the Lost Abyss opening, if I can get this booster pack open, please cooperate with me. Thank you very much. As I've said in my Lost Abyss opening, I would really love to get the, the Aerodactyl. That one would be sick. That's a really cool alternate art. But then of course everyone else is chasing the, um, the Giratina. I actually don't know the price in, in English for that card. I know in Japanese it's still crazy. In Japanese it's still easily, I think, over 250, maybe even still 300, I don't know. I do not know the English price though. But I reckon it would be pretty, pretty high, given the fact that it is a chase card, but you never know, you never know. Any Hoosers, we've got a Paris, an Inkei, Basculin, Jinx, a Makuhita, Gift Energy, and an, an Amoris. Cool. 
Oh yeah, I forgot the cold cord. There you go. There you go, and here are the other cords. You put these aside. Get a sleeve for you. Put this in the sleeve. Tie you up a bit. I guess the Misfortune Sisters can sit on top. That's a pretty cool pull. I really like this one. Really, really like this one. Get some other penny sleeves here ready. Just in case we pull something crazy. If we pull something crazy, I should probably get some top loaders ready, eh? Anywho's, let's continue with our opening. So far, really good. Which has me concerned for the rest of the box, to be honest. We're starting off very, very good. Which is probably gonna mean we're gonna slow down here a little bit. But let's see, shop it. Mid shop. Pikachu, that's a really nice Pikachu. Actually, let me go back. Look at this Pikachu. Look at the illustration. Who drew that? By the way, can't make it out. Anyways, that is so cute. I really like that illustration. Phantom. Sudowoodoo. Machoke. And another Chromorant. And here are the other cards. Oh yeah, Fantina. The full art for um, for Fantina is in here as well, of course. If it was in Lost, uh, Lost Abyss, it would be here, in here, of course. That's another one to look out for. Really love to pull that. Although I did say in my Lost Abyss opening, I'd rather pull uh, Colres. The good thing about uh, Colres and Lost Abyss, because it's been out for a while now, Colres has gotten pretty cheap. I think if I recall correctly. Thornton has been cheap since release date. Might have gotten uh, a bit cheaper still. So that's something to maybe get for the um, for the budget mail day series that I do plan on continue doing. There should be another shorts coming soon-ish. I still don't know when. Hopefully this month, but I can't promise anything. I still have uh, so much stuff planned for the for uh, this month. Litwick, Roselia, Rockruff, Seal, Jinx. And a Hizuian Gudra. Nice, I like Gudra. Very cool, sort that out. There's the code card for y'all. Put these aside and let's go, go to the next one. So yeah, we're slowing down for a bit, which is good. Don't want to get everything in the first few boosters. Don't want to get everything in the first few boosters. But yeah, I still got some stuff, but of course, after this one is Incandescent Arcana, whenever I get that, it has been shipped. I've pre-ordered it, and it has been shipped now. Maybe I'll still get it this week. Uh, if not, then probably next week. So that's something to look out for. I also still have a mystery box opening plan, which is really nice. Picked up a, a uh, 100 euro mystery box, and I'm pretty excited for that. Although that one hasn't been shipped yet. And then while we, well still, we have uh, a lot of boosters left, so I guess it's time for a bit of story time. I think in one of the last episodes I said I want to get a different playmat from the from the uh, Shiny Rayquaza V, or not, uh, from the Shiny Rayquaza M. And I tried to pre-order the uh, Trainer Saloon playmat, the one that I showed in one of the videos. That one looks really cool. Unfortunately, I did pre-order it, but my pre-order got cancelled from the shop that I did it on. So that was really unfortunate, and I also uh, didn't think about it, but that that playmat only gets shipped in like January, so that is really, really like, I'll probably try to pick it up when it does release in January, I'm not going to bother with pre-ordering it anymore. I mean, the window has closed anyways, as far as I know, so there's no more pre-orders. Of course, you can get a pre-order from a, uh, from like a third market dealer, like of eBay or something. But I'd much rather wait until it releases fully, and then just get all Rezu. I actually have this in a CGC 9.5, but I would love to pull this in English as well. I really like Rezu. I did say Adamon was my favorite from uh, from Pokemon Legends Arceus, but I think I might have to uh, change that opinion. I might actually have to change it to Arezu. Arezu might actually be my favorite character from, from Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's close though, still like Adamon. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is, after all. Alright, here you go. Code card. But, there's so much stuff happened since since the uh, last Booster Box opening. There has been a, uh, a Charizard Ultra Premium collection that has been announced. Oh, nice! A Chandelure trainer card and... Oh, a Delphox V! Look at that! 
a double whammy in this one. We've gotten we getting two pulls in one booster. That's so cool. Still no altar, but hey, I can't complain. Delphox is really cool. Delphox is really cool, and Chandelure is really cool. Now there is the Charizard in here, the trainer card from uh, or the trainer gallery card from VMAX Climax, which I think I might want to pull. I don't know. I do want to pull it to prove a point, but I'm not going to do it without pulling it because it wouldn't make sense. But yeah, a lot of stuff has happened. The um, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection thing was called. I did get a pre-order in, luckily. Luckily, 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 I got a pre-order in. We'll see if it gets fulfilled. And it was actually, it wasn't MSRP. I did pay a bit more, but I didn't pay ridiculous amounts. Which is nice, and a Skeptir. Another Hollow. So hopefully that gets fulfilled. So we can unbox that when it releases uh, the end of October. Still weighs off. But yeah, that one is crazy expensive. Honestly, take my advice with a grain of salt. Because obviously I don't know anything, it's all speculations. But I wouldn't pre-order it for ridiculous amounts. If you can pre-order it at a respectable shop for MSRP or near MSRP, then go for it by all means. But I wouldn't really wouldn't really cash over like over like 300 euros or some shit like that. That's like that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's way too expensive for something that is probably going to be readily available. And if you ask me, I think they're gonna well. They might manipulate the market, uh, some would say. They might want to try to manipulate the market. Make it scarce uh, for the sake of getting more money. But I think that idea is stupid. They're going to print these into oblivion, in my opinion. And they're not going to be as hard to print as the Ultra Premium Collections for Celebrations. Because of multiple factors. Of course, Celebrations was, as the name suggests, the celebration for 20 years of Pokémon. And that set was really high. That was at the time where uh, Pokemon, the Pokemon TCG... Oh nice, he's doing Zoroark V, that's really cool. Like that. When the uh, Pokemon TCG was at its high, because of the whole pandemic situation, people were getting bored, were starting to collect Pokemon again. And it had the, the uh, metal cards, the metal Pikachu and the metal Charizard, which were really hard to manufacture. And as you could see, most of them actually got a really bad quality really really bad quality for those and that's not the case with this one this one is just normal cards there's nothing special that they should um have trouble manufacturing than the gold cards or similar to the gold cards it's just normal cards really nice promos if you haven't seen those go check those out really really cool promos i think there's also a play play mat in there which is really cool so I might want to use that. If if I do get it, I want to use uh, that Charizard playmat. I might switch it out between this one and the Charizard if I do get it. Switch it up a bit. In this video, maybe this one. In, in the other video, the other one. But yeah, that would be cool. Of course, you have the boosters, but mostly... I think mostly you just buy it for the promos. And the promos are really cool looking. Promos are insane looking. I've forgotten what the boosters were. They're just mostly the, the uh, most recent ones. It's like, I think there's one Evolving Skies only in there. So that is nice, but it's only one. So not gonna get too many. There's, I think I do believe there is a, oh, if one more on this side. There's also a Sword and Shield base set pack in there, which kind of surprises me. Because Sword and Shield base set is like kind of old at this point. Not vintage, no, not by any means, but still. Sword and Shield is kind of old at this point. We have a Tynamo, a C Dot, Horsey, Metatite. Oh, that's cute. Hang on, let me go back to the Metatite. I'm only just seeing it after putting like over here, so I can see without the camera. That's why I'm like going back. Look at this Metatite. You know that's cute. That's so gosh darn stinking cute. Look at this. Very cool. We have a Shallows. We have a Poliwag and an Ariados, psychedelic artwork, and the other cards. So yeah, what was I? Charizard Premium Collection, somewhere in there. I've lost in, I'm, I'm lost in thought. I'm just basically just spouting whatever comes in my head right now. I'm trying to think of topics that I want to cover before the video ends, because we do have... Well, we do have limited time. This is the most time I'm going to get in a video to talk about random stuff. So let me just do that instead. 
Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I do think it's a. Hmm, I'm kind of indifferent about the about the uh, the product. I think it's cool, but Machamp, really cool Machamp, nice. I'm just. I think as many other people, I'm. I'm a little bit sick seeing Charizard in every set. Now don't get me wrong, I have to admit, I'm one of these people who always pick Charmander in uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. No, not in Yellow. You nearly got the Pikachu, of course. In Pokemon uh, Red and Blue, I always picked uh, Charmander. I was one of those guys. And I do have to say, I think Charizard looks cool, especially Chinese Charizard. Like, nothing comes close to Chinese Charizard. That looks super cool. But I just... Oh, nice. There's our second Radiant card, a Radiant Steelix. And a Mr. Mime, and here's the other cards. Yeah, I'm kind of indifferent. I don't know. I think I think Charizard is cool. It's just it's not my favorite Pokemon, not by any means. My favorite Pokemon is Mew, and I guess Rayquaza. Charizard. If I had to make a top ten, or no, it wouldn't even be in the top ten. In the top fifty, yeah, probably. It would probably be in the top fifty, but it wouldn't even make top ten. Still, I think the product is uh, is pretty cool, the promos, and I do believe those promos will end up in V-Star Universe, VMAX Universe, whatever the high-class um, set is called, the Japanese high-class set that releases at the end of the year, which I do plan on opening. I actually do plan on opening um, VMAX Climax and maybe even Shiny Star V as a preparation for that when it does come out. I have also planned to open uh, a booster pack from every single set, or not from every single set, sorry, from every single uh, Sword and Shield set, from every single set, jeez, that would be super expensive. From every single Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield set, gosh, I can't tell. Inke, Basculin, Phantom, Vile Plume, and a Greedent. And there's the other cards. So I that plan. There aren't that many in Sword and Shield. There are some some bangers in there, and we have uh, Shining Fates. We have celebrate. Yeah, we have celebrations. Celebrations was during the Sword and Shield era. So there you go. There is some bangers in there, yeah, for sure, for sure. But it's just one booster, because most of them will most of, opening a booster box or something similar like that. That would take way too long. First of all, a oh, nice Rotom V. Cool. Nazli, Relicant, and Lost Vacuum. That would take way too long, so just one booster. Mostly trying to get a the um, the just one blister. Of course, the blisters as you know them in the in the US, maybe. Uh, those don't actually exist in Europe. Or f as far as I know, I haven't seen them. They probably do exist, but I haven't seen them. So I'm just trying to go for like check lane blisters, I think they're called. They have just like one pack and then a few uh, a few promos. So that's probably my best bet to get those. But there are sets that, that don't offer those for some celebrations in Shining Fates. Also, I do believe uh, Champion's Path also do didn't do that. Because those, those were like special sets. Oh my. Look at that Raichu, yo. That's a sick looking artwork. You seeing this? Crazy. Really, really cool. High class pack. I'm actually kind of excited for the high class set, the Japanese high class set at the end of the year. Wonder what parts we'll see. We know uh, of a few leaks. There is the, of course, the uh, Charizard promises I've talked about. Those will appear in that set. But there is also a um, a Mewtwo card, which is in a similar art style to one of the Charizard cards, which I'm very excited about. Very very excited. That's the cute Metatite again. Shallows. Oh, nice! Another trainer card, uh, trainer gallery card. Bennett and a Cresselia. Yo, that Cresselia looks cool. It's like in space. And Misfortune Sisters. Overall, of course, we have the uh, rainbow art there. Nice. Another two pull, kind of. Go grab a sleeve for Bennett. Let me just check. We have. Okay, so we've pulled three. I do know we have a secret rail under here. For the trainer card, or trainer gallery card, yeah, this one, Santa Scorch. I think we're we're supposed to get one more trainer card for sure, or trainer gallery card. Excuse me. I think we sh we should get one more trainer gallery card, and let's see what else we got. Maybe one more V. I think one more V Star for sure. We only gotten one so far. Of course, there's no guarantee, 
in English booster boxes, but that's kind of what you could expect from a booster box. So let's see if it's in here. Mawile, Slugma, Clefairy, Arcanine. Nice, and speaking of a V-Star, there we have it, Hizuian V-Star. That's actually a really cool one. I really wanted to pull that one. That's really, really nice. So we've got our two V-Stars. Should still be one more trainer card. Yeah, no trainer gallery card. I always, I keep mixing the name up. I'll never get it right. Guess you can go on top of the Misfortune Sisters for now. I can never get it right. So let's see. For trainer gallery cards, there is the uh, black and gold Mew, as well as the black and gold uh, Pikachu V Max. Which are really cool. I would love to pull one of those. Specifically the Pikachu, because I already have the Mew in Japanese. But we'll see what we get. Nothing in here. And a non-holographic Gliss score. And here's the other cards. Nothing in there. We still have a few packs left. Let me just put the, the bulk over to this side. Let's continue. Get the booster box out of the way. We only have a few packs left. So, I don't think we're going to get an, uh, an alternate art in this one. It would be cool if we did, but I am not, I'm not keeping my hopes up. Actually, maybe I should keep my hopes up. Keep the hopes high. We're going to pull an alternate art. Actually, we're going to pull two alternate arts. Love Disc, Phalanx, Poliwag, Horsey, and a Lost Zone Mercargo. And there's the other cards. There you go. Two alternate arts. Now I have heard of the infamous, the infamous booster box, which can give you two alternate arts. But as is plain obvious, you can also get no alternate arts. Basically, as I did for my first alternate uh, Astro Radiance, I only got an alternate art on my second opening, which was actually uh, the one I opened on my channel. And we got the chase card, which is pretty cool. Maybe we should open the second one, then we'll get a, an alternate art. Dugong. Two books. Alright, nothing in here. Few packs left. We're gonna need some real lost pack magic. Maybe it'll work, just like last time. I did say we need some real lost pack magic, and then it magically worked. As if I invoked fate itself. I, I, I At this point, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But let's just fill the space with noise, I suppose. Pikachu, they're cute. Jinx, Porygon Z, and a Parasect. And here's the other cards. So yeah, I think I've said basically everything I wanted to say, I wanted to talk about. I did talk about all of my upcoming videos, everything that's been going on so far. So that's really nice. We've covered basically everything, unless I forgot something, which I probably did. Because I... I have the, uh, what should we call it, the mind of a colander. I forget stuff all again. Oh, nice, we have a Colrus experiment. Not a full art, but a reverse. And a Gudra V, Zui and Gudra V. And here's the other cards. And another Colrus. It's the Colrus conspiracy. So many Colrus. Get you sleeved up. And how many do we have left? We have four packs left. Four packs. We need some real lost pack magic here. And I do believe, I believe, but we should get one more uh, trainer gallery card if I count it right. We should get one more. Let me get this closer to the camera. Excuse me. Slamo in here. Ooh. Nice. Oh, what? What's this? It's a Santa Scorch V Max. It's a Santa Scorch box. And it's Reviant. And here's the other cards. And of course, the code card. It's the Treviant box. What the heck? Or not the Treviant, excuse me. It's the Santa Scorch box. Hang on, let me get the other Santa Scorch. We've got both of the Santa Scorches. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We've got Santa Scorch V and Santa Scorch V Max. Hey, if you like Santa Scorch, that's fine by me. All power to you, man. But that's our Trina Gallery cards. We shouldn't get anything else. I don't believe we've gotten all the V. Maybe we can get another V. We've gotten two V stars. We have gotten four trainer gallery cards. I think we've gotten basically everything we we uh, 
we could from this box. Of course, nothing is promised. Not in English, at least. Unlike Japanese. But hey, that's fine with me. Lost Zone Bufalond. And another tree, uh, Misfortune Sisters. Second to last pack, here we go. So the last pack, I'm probably gonna do the, the card trick. It would be pretty cool if we pulled something. I think I just saw something shiny. Might have been the reflection, but let's see. Might have just been a reverse Litwick. Oddish. Love Disc. Phalanx. A Landorus. Oh, we've got a gold card. You see that shine? We've got a gold card. What's it gonna be? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be a bit of a... Uh, I'm gonna put this card, which is our pull, all the way back here. And then we're gonna see... Landorus. Energy. Machoke. Cascoon. An aim palm, and just go quickly. A box of disaster! Yo, we've got a gold card! We've actually still got a pull left, that's so nice! That is super cool, a box of disaster, which is, even though we didn't pull an alt art, might, some might say, oh no, this is a box of disaster, that's a good joke, yeah. 10 out of 10, go on. But no, I like this, I like this opening. Even though we didn't get an alt art, I didn't pull most of the cards I didn't, uh, I wanted. But that was still pretty fun. Okay, last booster. Let's do the card trick for the last one. Get rid of that useless energy, you have too much of them already. Now let's see, Toolbox, Scary Mama, Bronzor, Electrike, Ghastly, very happy Ghastly, look at that. Binacle, a Murkrow, a Snorlax, and... A Lost Zone Sableye, at least we ended with a Hollow. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, let me just sort these cards and pull up the, the best pulls we've gotten in this one, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here are the pulls. Rainbow Rare Misfortune Sisters, really nice. Delphox V, really cool. Box of Disasters, very nice. Drapion V-Star, that's kind of meh. The Hizuian uh, Zorok V-Star is really cool, though. Uh, Sneezer is really cool, Steelix is kind of whatever. Uh, Santa Scorch V and VMAX, not the cards I wanted from that trainer card, uh, trainer gallery card uh, set specifically, but still very cool because we have Chandler, Bennett, and four V cards. So there you have it, that was my opening of Lost Origin. Uh, stay tuned for Incandescent Arcana coming up soon, and then after that one will be a mystery box opening, 100 euro mystery box, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then a like would be appreciated. Tell me in the comments what I should change if you didn't like the video. And I hope I will see you in the next video regardless. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.